The most powerful name in local news. Fox 5 News at News. Business is good for a small California company that produces a cleaner and cheaper way to get around. In just 18 months, Southern California-based T3 Motion has sold 1,200 units to 500 customers. We're in airports, college campuses, uh, mall properties now, even in asset protection programs with retail properties. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 530. Some South Florida police officers have a new crime-fighting tool tonight at their disposal. It also gives them a new way to get around. The Hollywood Police Department will be rolling on three-wheeled T3s. The best part about them is the speed, 25 to 30 miles an hour. The high visibility that allows our officers basically standing a foot over people walking up and down the broadwalk. News Channel 8 at 630 starts now. And good evening, Laurel and Tracy. A trip to the mall today is not only about the latest sale, but your safety and security once you're there. This is what some are calling the robo or motocop. The number one thing is, is it makes our officers more visible. Being able to turn around in a parking stall. You're watching Wayne TV, CBS Fort Wayne. This is coverage you can count on. The Fort Wayne Police Department has some new wheels. It's called a T3. It's just like riding a motorcycle when you stand up. It goes up to 23 miles an hour. It runs on an electric battery. You just plug them into an outlet. A three-hour charge allows you to drive them for eight hours. This is KDK TV News at four. They're called T3s, and some say could be the wave of the future when it comes to patrolling events like this week's regatta. Pittsburgh's EMS department is testing it out in preparations for this weekend's regatta. We have a paramedic with a monitor, his gear, like you'd see on an ambulance, and be able to bring it through a special event, tight places, uh, increased maneuverability. This is Wesh 2 News at 6 with Wendy Chioji. Technology isn't limited to the classrooms at Lyman High School. Outside, Longwood police are patrolling the campus in style. This allows me to get from point A to point B much quicker and, more importantly, much fresher than if I have to handle a situation I'm not tired out from running or, or trying to get to someplace fast on foot. Well, Tallahassee's Capitol Police are sporting some new wheels. The newest addition to the Capitol Police Department is the T3 Personal Mobility Vehicle. Has a run time of about 12 hours on the battery. They're small, durable. We can get them inside buildings, onto elevators. This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Policing the USC campus has gone from four-wheeling to three-wheeling, and campus security officials say students will be safer for it. The vehicles are going to help us to deal with getting around the campus, being seen, and more importantly, as we've tested those, they pass the students' cool factor. Fox 10 Arizona Morning. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Well, the big thing, of course, is American Idol. And Alexis Vance uh, has been out there all morning long. Now, what is this vehicle you're like on? What, you, what do you call that? This, you know, it looks like a Segway, but it's actually called a T3. It has three wheels on it, so you don't have to balance. These T3s are so cool. How do these help you guys do your job when it comes to crowd control? You said that you use them for the Super Bowl. You're using them for American Idol. How does this this kind of thing help what they help us do is basically just improve our ability to get around and around through the crowds uh, they're up a little bit higher than an officer that would be on foot or on a bicycle so we can see into the crowd see more of what's going on and it also helps the crowd see us if they need some assistance they can flag us down uh, and they're just fun amazingly the t3 is very similar to a police car in its features it's just on a smaller scale it has lights a siren <laughs> Uh, and storage, three primary things that a police officer needs while patrolling. Keeping with the city's green initiative, they're very beneficial in that respect. They're very cost effective, battery operated, cost pennies a day to operate. 